be the one. <laughs> oh, yeah. I wish I could find the one. If you weren't so picky, you could. You think rich, smart, and gorgeous is picky? I don't know. Fun, fast, and disposable is one of my sweet. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. You can't just go. We need details. Who's the guy? He is amazing, Dee Dee. He fits everything on my list. You have a list? Uh, I gotta go. Okay. Okay, okay fine. I'll call my mental later, okay? <laughs> Too short, too tall, too fat, too paid. Oh, come on, there's a million hot guys in here. And then they make my list. You've got a list, too? Does everybody have a list? Smart, funny, mysterious, Matt Damon smile, Brad Pitt butt, loves his mom, plays hockey. Makes great, Mark, too. You're gonna be single for a long time. Hey, Margaret. Hey, hey I thought you had a date. Yeah, me too, but um, he never showed up. Maybe he's just late. Yeah, it's LA, if 7.30 means 10.45. I don't know. Um, I, I, he just sounded kind of weird on the phone, and I think it was just his clever way of dumping me, you know? Mm. I gotta go. Oh. You guys, what should we do? The mature thing? And leave her alone? Hell no. Get her drunk, get her to cough up the jerk's address, then go over there and kick his butt. Order more drinks, I'll get her. Three career criminals with one shot at freedom. Now they're working for the feds who put them away. These are the women of She Spies. Bad girls gone good. Margaret doesn't write one name in her journal. Only he did this to me, and he did that to me. Well, I'm sufficiently turned on, it doesn't help us at all. Get this, I cross-checked all the recent phone records. The guy who stood her up only called her from payphones. Who does that? Kidnappers, serial killers. Scooter McManus. Guy Frank called me in the fifth grade. We searched her house, we talked to everyone she knows, we have virtually no leads. This guy she was going out with is a phantom. All right, got it. Let me guess. Margaret's position at ComSend is highly sensitive. We can't risk police involvement, and it's up to us to find her. Oh, my God, you're channeling Cross. There must be something we're missing. Let's just go over everything again and make a list. Hey, the list. Margaret said the guy she was dating fit everything on her list. Which we don't have. No, but we do have her journal, and it was pretty specific. Her Mr. Wright is over six feet tall, has an MBA, writes poetry, swear dances, isn't hairy, and has big hands. Big hands? Ooh, Margaret, you play you. Hey, this might be something. Margaret called a dating service. Huh. She didn't strike me as a dating service type. She didn't strike me as the boots and bustier type either. Well, maybe she misdialed. 43 times in 90 days. Ooh. The only lead we have is the guy who stood Margaret. A guy we think she met through a dating service called Hooking Up. Margaret doesn't seem like the... the dating service type? No. But you cannot judge a book by its cover. Do we look like ex-cons? Or spies? Or event planners? Well, okay, maybe event planners. Look, her journal described the kind of man she was looking for down to his glove size. Why don't we just call the agency and find out who she was dating? Well, if the kidnappers have any ties to this agency, we don't want to tip our hand. We don't know who's involved. Back door. Read my mind. Channeling him. I'm scaring me. Didi, hack into computers the dating agency. Get a list of all the members and employees. Run background checks. Flag anything you see suspicious. Shane, go back to the crime scene, see if there's anything we missed. Cassie, you'll register with the hooking up agency. I know, and use Margaret's list to try to find the last man she was dating. God, get out of my head! Okay, great. Now I'm just gonna take a quick Polaroid for the board, and then you can take a seat. Okay. <clears throat> Flashing. <clears throat> Welcome, singles. We are about to begin the three-minute dating circuit, so if you plan to pop a breath mint, do it now. 
The love of your life could be across from you right this very moment. So at the sound of the bell, you have three minutes to get acquainted. When you hear it again, men move on. Go. Hi. I'm looking for a six-foot-tall, non-smoking square dancer with an MBA, writes poetry, can palm a basketball, and is willing to wax. Is that you? A dating service? You? Dee Dee, you're a catch. I mean, you're cute, you're funny, you're Harvard educated, computer literate. Duncan, it's for a case, not me. I am justifiably embarrassed. Look at this. I have access to the membership rules. Anything seem weird to you? Most of them work for the government. What is it, like a dating service for the Pentagon? I'm starting to wonder. You like poetry? MBA. You're six foot one, have your MBA. Do the words do -si do mean anything to you? Smoke? No. Wax? Yes. Big hands? Uh, no complaints so far. MBA? Got one, but I don't use it. I'm back in school getting a degree in classical poetry. Barry Michaels was a match, but almost too much of a match. It was weird. How weird? Well, he matched all of Margaret's preferences, right? So I decided to keep going to test how agreeable this guy really was. When I told him I worked for the government, guess what? He was your ideal man, too. Down to the perfect martini. Even played hockey? He said his big hands helped him control his stick. Clearly, if any of you told him you worked for the government, he'd be your perfect man, too. So why don't we just bring him in? Can't. All we have is a theory, nothing to hold him on. But if there is a connection between him and Margaret, well... Maybe Cassie can ease it out of him. Duncan, you ready? Yes, sir. Well, did we get anything from the security camera in the club? Analysis was able to lift the license plate off the kidnapper's car. It was registered to a rental company. The customer was a C. Rodriguez in a dress in Hollywood. So you think Barry set her up and this guy grabbed her? I don't know. That's why I want you two to check out this Rodriguez. Oh, cute purse. Yeah, I don't know if it goes with the shoes. It's for Cassie. Duncan came up with it. Carl Mancini. Nice. Thanks. I called my ex-girlfriend to see what's trendy. Here, put this glass inside. Okay, you need to warn a girl when that's gonna happen. Yeah, there's a scanner inside that transmits the fingerprints back to consent. And we run them for any arrest records. That means only the glass inside, nothing else. No powder? No gloss? No floss? Well, Duncan, these are basic womanly needs. Basic woman's needs, right. I wonder his girlfriend's an ex. <laughs> Got it. Show them the rest. Oh, right. There's a high-speed camera in the class. Open it and close it. And the photo transmits back here to us. Check it out. It holds three gigs, which means it takes, like, 5,000 snaps. It holds 5,000 photos, but not one lipstick? That's what you get when a guy makes you gadgets. Don't write that down. The summer solstice sky, just two months past June. Caught in the rapture of the man in the moon. Two more martinis, straight up, olive and milk. Okay. All right. You're gonna get me drunk. So, when are you gonna tell me about this top secret government job you have? Well, if I told you it wouldn't be top secret, would it? Last I heard, friends don't keep secrets from friends. Oh, well, it's a little early to be thrown around the F word, don't you think? Well, it depends on the F word. <sighs> well, you gotta give Rodriguez credit for using a P.O. box for that is. Yeah, I'm starting to think sticking out the box to see if the bad guy comes wasn't one of our brightest ideas. <laughs> you were singing a different tune two hours ago. Two hours ago, I hadn't washed back pork rind slots and a pink snowball. Hey, hey, this guy fits our list. We have a bad guy list? Yeah, someone who drives a car slower than ours and wearing flip flops so he can't run fast. Nope, P.O. Box 314. It's not him. So why are you so interested in this job of mine? I'm interested in you. Your job is just part of who you are. Well, it's top secret. You haven't gotten me nearly drunk enough to tell you about it. Well, I'll give us another round. This is 
such a waste of time. Want to play I Spy? No. Want to see who can spot a Ryan's belt first? No, I don't want to play a game. Ninety-nine bottles of beer on the wall. Ninety-nine bottles of beer. Take. It's not a game. It's a song. Hey. Hey, 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 hey! Check it out. P.O. Box two fourteen. Ten. It's midnight. What kind of normal person gets a mail at midnight? We're not dealing with normal. So this job of yours, why mm. is it so top secret? Mm, I'm not as thick as you drunk I am. <laughs> this is a cute, cute face. Do you know who would love this face? No. My friend, Margaret Finney. You know, she's registered with the Hook It Up agency, too. Have you ever met her? No. Never. Oh. Well, I gotta go to the little girl's room. Hey, order some of those buffalo wings. I totally have the munchies. I'll be back in a second. come through. Barry's real name is Jordan Taft. Just released from prison. Professional con man. <laughs> Not that professional. His blood pressure jumped a mile when I mentioned Margaret. He knows something. He just ditched me. Cassie's date took off. Well, it's obviously not into long-term commitments. Hey, Carlito, it's getting way out of hand. Hey, isn't that Barry? I mean, I, I, I'm telling you, they're on to us. Hey, 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 you don't need to get a crib kit, okay? No, I, I don't care. Look, I want out. I want out. All right? Okay. Okay, that's fine with me. You're out. Oh. So Barry's dead. Rodriguez got away. <laughs> Looks like we're back to square one. Not necessarily. The woman's body washed up on shore just north of Malibu. Oh, my God. Not Margaret. Fortunately not. But she was registered to the Hooking Up Agency. And she did hold a high-security government job similar to Margaret's. So what do these women know that's so valuable? Access codes to weapons facilities. The GSA has reported several thefts from the facilities the dead woman had codes to. So these men are kidnapping women and forcing them to give up the code? Then they can steal without setting off the alarms. Well, the good news is no thefts have been reported from the facilities Margaret has access to. So she still might be alive. Until she gives up the codes. We have to go deeper in those dating agencies, see what we can find. The woman who runs it is Charlotte Hill. So how do we get in? This is Alice White. She's an employee at the Hooking Up Agency. Now, what Alice doesn't know is she just got very lucky. Is this Alice White? You've just won. Are you serious? I won? <laughs> I can't believe it. Yes, Alice White, you've won the Toothbrush Tour giveaway. KURZ Radio is sending you on an all-expense-paid trip around the world.
All you gotta bring is your toothbrush. But to claim this prize, you must leave immediately. Well, you can't just quit like this. You have appointments all afternoon. I'm sorry, Charlotte. I never want anything. I, mean, I can't pass this up. Bye. Can I help you? I was hoping you might have an opening. I guess you do. Please tell me you have experience counseling people desperate for love. I used to write the personal ads for a cat lovers magazine. When can you start? Prepare to meet what we politely refer to as our socially challenged singles, basically losers. Whatever you tell them is going to be better than what they're doing. Gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to our newest singles therapist, Dr. Dede. Good luck. Hi. Oh, hi. So, who wants to see me first? Uh, me. Uh, uh, I, I, me. Who are you and how'd you get past security? Security's never been a problem for me. Well, I'm about to make it a problem. Vince, Joe. Barry told me everything. I want in on the deal. I don't know what you're talking about. Get her out of here. Like I said, Barry, or should I say Jordan Taft, told me that you target women who know access codes to government weapons facilities. How do you know him? We worked a few scams together. Can't use you on this one. Oh, sure you can. I'm sure there are men who work for the government who have access to codes. I'll go on dates with them, find out if they have any codes, then kidnap them. That's the way it works, isn't it? How do I know that I could trust you? Well, the way I see it, you really don't have a choice. Then again, it's just as easy to call the cops. Welcome to Hooking Up. something. Barry was scheduled for a cycling date this afternoon with a government worker named Nicole Benson. But Barry's name's been replaced with a guy named Carlito Rodriguez. See Rodriguez, the guy who shot Barry. I guess his last date was with a poor girl who was found dead in Malibu. Nicole Benson has access to a weapon storage facility. But Rodriguez won't know what she looks like since they never met. You up for another date? I haven't been this popular since my dad had me running numbers in high school. Got it. Please, Carlito. I don't know any codes. Really. That's not what you told Barry. He lied. Can I have some water, please? I want you to tell me exactly what... Yeah. Well, she claims that she doesn't know anything. She's lying. She specifically told Barry she had access to a weapons facility. Keep hammering her. Listen, I'm telling you that the feds are on to us, okay? I believe now is the time that we split. Being on to us and catching us are two different things. <sighs> Look, Barry was scheduled for a date with a woman who has access to an armory. I've scheduled you to take his place. Oh, yeah. Nicole Benson was scheduled to meet Rodriguez near Lifeguard Tower 10 in Waterston Park. We were able to intercept her. You'll take her place and get a copy of Rodriguez's prints. If we can find out who he is, maybe we'll find something that can lead us to Margaret. There are 38 contact points on this bottle. We just need him to make contact with one of them. So I leave it right here. Uh, no, it's too suspicious. Duncan, relax. I know it's your first field assignment. We'll get the prints. Don't worry. Hi. Nicole? Yeah. Do I know you? Uh, I'm Carlito. Unfortunately, Barry can't make it, so the agency sent me. <laughs> I, I know it's disappointing, but uh, but Charlotte said that we have a lot in common. You know, I, I love sushi, romantic comedies. Cycling. <laughs> right, right. So, what do you say? I'll give it a shot once around the park? No, why not? Buy me a drink first? Sure. sure. You're a little bit taller than Charlotte said you were. Is that a problem? No. I've always liked long legs. Uh, two waters, please. Here you go. Keep the change. A great first day. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. His cholesterol's through the roof, his ticker's on the blink, and he's got shingles. 
Stop, you're making me hot. Yeah, the goal is to get him hot so we'll open up about the access codes. He's a senior security guard for a Stinger missile facility. If he does have the codes, where do I take him? Call me, we'll come down and make the grab. So what kind of date is this gonna be? The skimpy kind. Shane? Oh, well, is, uh, is that all you? Everything you say is the genuine original. <laughs> well, why don't you, uh, come here and sit down? As tempting as that is, I think I'll start right here. Listen, uh, I gotta let you know right up front, I, I am a little bit nervous. Why? There's nothing to be nervous about. Uh, well, most women don't respond well to my dating profile. I can't believe that. Now, what woman wouldn't want to be with a man who enjoys going to cemeteries and baking his own Cheetos and trying his own deer meat? I'm telling you. Why, I'm still single. I'll never know. Even your job as a career security guard for the government? God, it's so sexy. I mean, being around all those big, scary weapons and... God, it just makes me hot thinking about it. Uh, you like big weapons? Mm. Come on over. Uh, I think we should just get to know each other a little better. Listen, I promise. You come over here and we'll get to know each other real fast. <laughs> so anyway, I'll get about this chair if you answer two questions. One answer, I stand up. Second answer, I'll sit on your lap. And all you have to do is say yes or no. Deal. Hmm. Do you know any classified information at your job? You bet. Come on, baby, this lap's open for business. <laughs> I thought we said two questions. Uh, well, you better hurry up, sweetheart. My weapon's already on countdown mode. Um, fine. Can you get me into that missiles facilities you work for? Baby, I can get you in, out, and anywhere you want to go. Come to Papa. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell me a little bit more about this missile facility. <clears throat> Eli? Eli. Eli. Hey, hey, hey. No, no, no. Oh, come on, Eli. No, no, no. Oh. Do you know what I love in my martini? Olives. Not me. I think that olives ruin the taste. Oh, a great martini is a sensory thing for me. Mm, sounds a little tinny. I should have used that digital subwoofer. This isn't a Hollywood ball. It's fine. Martini glass, icy cold vodka, sucking the red stuff out of the olive. Where do you keep these olives? The fridge. <laughs> Oh, uh, shoot, I spilled your drink. I'll, uh, I'll make you another one. I don't see the olives. I uh, check the door. What the hell's happening? The purse is jammed. It's trying to read the print while the camera's taking pictures. We just lost audio. Damn. <laughs> well, sorry to say. No olives. Oh, too bad. We were cycling. You mentioned this job of yours. It, it sounds like you have a lot of power. And I find that very attractive. The camera's taking shot after shot. Everything you see happened a few seconds ago. Look, I've had a really good time tonight, but I've got to get up early tomorrow, so... Listen, listen. Five more minutes, please. Please. I'm absolutely intrigued. What you have in that beautiful head of yours. She's letting him kiss her. It's just business. Call me down. What was that? Uh, I missed it. I missed it. Seriously, I really do have to get up early tomorrow. All right. A toast. To a promise. Things to come. Um, do you, do you have a, maybe a bottle of water that I can take for the road? Mm. Um, sure. In the fridge.
Something's got his attention. Oh, no. He spotted it. shot me, but I heard the click of the gun. Uh. Call the paramedics. Yes, sir. Cassie, are you all right? I'm okay, Duncan. Personally, Walter, I think it's great that your biggest turn-on is writing haiku, but this is a dating service. If it was the inside that mattered, we'd take an x-ray, not a Polaroid. Here's the name of a good salon. Tell them Dr. Didi sent you. I'm really sorry, Cassie. I didn't take into account that the circumference of some martini glasses Duncan. is dip. It's okay. I'll work on modifying it. What did you think you were doing? It's called a con. I pretended like the drug worked to see what he'd do next. And you almost got yourself killed. I was trying to get as much information as possible. That was the assignment. No, the assignment was to get the fingerprints. This was about you enjoying the con so much that you put yourself in jeopardy. I was trying to end the date. But when he dropped the pill, I figured if, if he thought I was drugged, he might be willing to give up more information. Oh, right. So that's why you, you kissed him. He kissed me. And it was a choice I made to end the date on a believable note so we wouldn't get spooked. But that was the plan, right? Unless this is about something else. From this point forward, I suggest you consider your choices more carefully. Eli's gonna be okay. He's in ICU. How did Rodriguez do? I haven't heard from him. He's missed his last two check-in calls. Something is wrong. Who are you calling? We're holding a girl. It's time to get rid of her. I'm gonna close down the operation. What are you doing? Stopping you from making a huge mistake. Think about it. How much are those missiles worth? Five million on the open market. Forget the codes. I can break in. Yeah. Well, anybody can break in. It's the alarms we're worried about. There might be some risk. Some? Look, there's a good chance that I can get past the alarms. And for five million, isn't that a risk worth taking? Be a great last score. Right. Looks like the Stinger missile facility got hit a few hours ago. Security's reporting forced entry. That wasn't the plan. She was supposed to get the codes, and we follow her to the drop-off point. Something must have gone wrong. She must be improvising. I got a match on Rodriguez. He's got a record and an alias. His alias shows a ownership of a warehouse near the airport. Perfect place to stash weapons. Or Margaret. Go. Tell me. Nice work. Okay, let's get the rest of the stuff loaded up on the truck. Five or six. That's what it says on the sheet. All right. You got it. Notify authorities at the airport. Get a chopper out there. Shane, where the hell have you been? They've been all over me. This is the first time I could call. Have you got Margaret? <sighs> no, but she's here someplace. Let's move right away. Shane. Shane? Shane! Breaking up is so hard to do. She's probably a fed. We gotta get out of here. Get ready to torch the place. Shane? Shane! Shh. Margaret. They're gonna kill us. Margaret, don't worry. We'll get out of here. There's Barry. He was just lying the whole time. I shouldn't have trusted him. Oh, girl, oh, only cute guy lies. It always sounds like the truth. <laughs> Slumber party's over, girls. 
Use a lot of that. The fire's got to be hot enough to burn the ropes to make it look like an accident. Those missiles have a return policy. Boys, get her! Here. Oh, God, not the list thing again. Well, you have to know what you want in order to get it. I hate that. Then there's no surprises. Not true. Remember, he has a list, too. So? So is where you compromise if you get the surprises. When two lists become one. When was I signed to be the love counselor? Why'd you bring that thing? Oh, um, Duncan told me to take it out on a field test. Plus, it matches my shoes. Mm. <gasps> there's Margaret. <laughs> well, she's with Walter, one of my patients. Do you need a love counselor? You should have seen the before picture. Dee Dee, hi! Hey. Hi! hi. <laughs> you two are dating? Yeah. I met him at a singles mixer for government employees. <laughs> Gee, that sounds fun. Yeah. <laughs> He's really cute. But you know the best part? He told me that I talk too much. <laughs> And that's a good thing? Yeah, because he's honest. You know, and after Barry, that is so exactly what I needed. That's great. Mm -hmm. Hey, do you really want to heat things up? Yeah. <clears throat> Ask him to write some haiku. Where's Cassie? Found someone to dance with. That's it, I'm making a list. Well, I thought you were all into surprises. I'm over it. I want someone conservative, with dark hair, green eyes, oh, and a professional. Mm -hmm. Someone who wears a suit to work every day. <laughs> He fits nothing on your list. Yes, but he's surprisingly cute. Hi there.
of our new headquarters. A gym, a locker room, showers. I don't know, something about having everything all together like this is a little big brother -ish. Or a little still in prison -ish. Hey, you don't get a steam and sauna in prison. Oh, how quickly we forget one of you two. Oh, hi, you guys. Hey. hey. I, I thought you already left. Oh, I did. I got all the way down to the parking lot before I realized I left my keys in my locker. Oh, don't go home. Come out with us. Yeah, we're going to go clubbing at Alchemy later. Oh. Well, maybe I'll see you there. That's where my date's taking me. I think he might be the one. <laughs> oh, yeah. I wish I could find the one. If you weren't so picky, you could. You think rich, smart, and gorgeous is picky? I don't know. Fun, fast, and disposable is one of my sweet. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. You can't just go. We need details. Who's the guy? He is amazing, Dee Dee. He fits everything on my list. You have a list? Uh, I gotta go. Okay, okay, okay bye. I'll call you back later, okay? <laughs> Too short, too tall, too fat, too pay. Oh, come on, there's a million hot guys in here. And then they make my list. You've got a list too? Does everybody have a list? Smart, funny, mysterious, Matt Damon smile, Brad Pitt butt, loves his mom, plays hockey, makes a great mark too. You're gonna be single for a long time. Hey, Margaret. Hey, hey I thought you had a date. Yeah, me too, but um, he never showed up. Maybe he's just late. Yeah, it's LA, if 7.30 means 10.45. I don't know. Um, I, I, he just sounded kind of weird on the phone, and I think this is just his clever way of dumping me, you know? Mm, I gotta go. Oh. You guys, what should we do? A mature thing. And leave her alone? Hell no. Get her drunk, get her to cough up the jerk's address, then go over there and kick his butt. Order more drinks, I'll get her. Three career criminals with one shot at freedom. Now they're working for the feds who put them away. These are the women of She Spies. Bad girls gone good. Margaret doesn't write one name in her journal. Only he did this to me, and he did that to me. Well, I'm sufficiently turned on, it doesn't help us at all. Get this, I cross-checked all the recent phone records. The guy who stood her up only called her from pay phones. Who does that? Kidnappers, serial killers. Scooter McManus. Guy Frank called me in the fifth grade. We searched her house, we talked to everyone she knows, we have virtually no leads. This guy she was going out with is a phantom. All right, got it. Let me guess. Margaret's position at ComSend is highly sensitive. We can't risk police involvement, and it's up to us to find her. Oh, my God, you're channeling Cross. There must be something we're missing. Let's just go over everything again and make a list. Hey, the list. Margaret said the guy she was dating fit everything on her list. Which we don't have. No, but we do have her journal, and it was pretty specific. Her Mr. Wright is over six feet tall, has an MBA, writes poetry, swear dances, isn't hairy, and has big hands. Big hands? Ooh, Margaret, you play you. Hey, this might be something. Margaret called a dating service. Huh. She didn't strike me as a dating service type. She didn't strike me as the boots and bustier type either. Well, maybe she misdialed. 43 times in 90 days? Ooh. The only lead we have is the guy who stood Margaret up. A guy we think she met through a dating service called Hooking Up. Margaret doesn't seem like the... the dating service type? You know. But you cannot judge a book by its cover. Do we look like ex-cons? Or spies? Or event planners? Well, okay, maybe event planners. Look, her journal described the kind of man she was looking for down to his glove size. Why don't we just call the agency and find out who she was dating? Well, if the kidnappers have any ties to this agency, we don't want to tip our hand. We don't know who's involved. Back door. Read my mind. Channeling him. I'm scaring me. Didi, hack in the computers of the dating agency, get a list of all the members and employees, and background checks, flag anything you see suspicious. Shane, go back to the crime scene, see if there's anything we missed. Cassie, you'll register with the hook and up agency. 
I know, and use Margaret's list to try to find the last man she was dating. God, get out of my head. Okay, great. Now I'm just gonna take a quick Polaroid for the board and then you can take a seat. Okay, <clears throat> flashing. <clears throat> Welcome, singles. We are about to begin the three-minute dating circuit, so if you plan to pop a breath mint, do it now. The love of your life could be across from you right this very moment. So at the sound of the bell, you have three minutes to get acquainted. When you hear it again, men, move on. Go. Hi. I'm looking for a six-foot-tall, non-smoking square dancer with an MBA, writes poetry, can palm a basketball, and is willing to wax. Is that you? A dating service? You? Dee, you're a catch. I mean, you're cute, you're funny, you're Harvard-educated, computer literate. Duncan, it's for a case, not me. I am justifiably embarrassed. Look at this. I've accessed the membership rules. Anything seem weird to you? Most of them work for the government. What is it, like a dating service for the Pentagon? I'm starting to wonder. Like poetry? MBA. You're six foot one, have your MBA. Do the words dosi do mean anything to you? Smoke? No. Wax? Yes. Big hands? Uh, no complaints so far. <laughs> <laughs>